Good afternoon, Poot. Good afternoon, teacher. How are you? Hello, Kai. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, that's good to know that you're fine. Let's wait for others first before we start, okay? I hope they will come as soon as possible. Hello, Chiwi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Akon, good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Okay, so as of now, there are just four students. Let's wait for maybe two or three more minutes. Let's see. And please open your cameras if you can. Hello, Pudit. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, by the way, only four students sent the activity last week. Chuek, Kim, Im, and Bacon. Others did not send their activities last week, so... Oh, where are the others? Chuik, why is your camera off? Is this Pi? Hello, Pi. Please open your camera. Hello, Im. Oh, Im, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as uh, so what I have said last week, uh, and I ask you also that today you would like to create a game in Scratch, right? Okay, so I thought of a game. It's called a jumping game. Do you know on Google if there is, if there is no internet, the dinosaur jumping game? Do you know that? If there is no internet, you will press the space bar and then the uh, dinosaur will jump uh, over the cactuses. Okay, we will do a game that is similar to that. Okay, so that is our activity for today. So everybody, please. Uh, oh, by the way, I will show you an example. Okay, so this will be the example. Actually, the code for this one is short. Okay, so I have your character and some obstacles. My obstacles here are balls. And then I have a little pony here. Okay, so like this, when you press on the space bar, then uh, the character will jump. But of course, the character should not uh, hit the ball or touch the ball uh, because in that case, the game will stop. Okay, so let's try later if we can add more to this one if we finish early. Okay, so everybody please open your scratch. Okay, is your scratch open now? By the way, I will ask questions from time to time, so I hope you will answer. Hello, JJ and others who just came in. Okay, so let's start now, students. Uh, if you don't want to use this character, then you can delete it. Okay, and then I would like you to choose any background or any backdrop for now. Okay, any backdrop will do. Okay, so I will stick to the backdrop. Uh, in the example, okay, I will choose forest. And then also student, I will, I want you to choose one sprite for now, only one sprite, the sprite or the character that will jump, 
Okay? So any character will do also. It can be an animal, a person. It's up to you. Okay, so I think I will also stick to the pony. This one. Okay, students, and if it is quite big, then you can make it smaller, okay? For me, it's quite big, so I will make it, uh, or I will change the size to 80. Are you done? Please tell me if you're done so that I know that I can proceed to the next one. Have you chosen your backdrop and your character already? Bacon, Chiwik, Im, Pai, Guy, Put, JJ, Kim. Good afternoon, Kim. Students, please let me know if you're done. Yes. Yes. How about the others? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so students, uh, when we start the program, of course, we need to position the character here okay on the left side of the interface or the game interface okay so uh, everybody please uh place your character here anywhere here and then to start the program of course we need to have the when green flag clicked block and then students once you place it Okay, so as what you can see here, you can see the go, go to block here. And that's what you can see when you move it, it, up, it updates also the coordinates. Do you know X and Y in math, in math, by the way? Do you know X and Y? Okay, which one is up and down and left to right? Up or down is X or Y? In math. Y. Okay, so we have this one in math, right? It's the same here in Scratch. Okay, so for this one, it's Y. Okay, but this one is positive Y. And then this one is negative Y. Okay? This one is negative X and this one is positive X. Okay, so it's like in math because here in Scratch, we have X and Y coordinates also. Okay, so as what you can see here, students, every time you move the character anywhere, the uh, X and Y coordinates are also updating. It depends on where it is. But for our game, we will start it here on the left. Okay, so place it on the left of your interface. And then after that, that's the time that you will insert this block here. Okay, so this means that whenever your character is, okay, when you click start or when you start the program, it will go back to this position. Okay, do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. Okay. So now, students, we will make the character jump, okay? So if it is jump, meaning up and down, right? Right? Yes or no? Okay. Yes. So in that case, what are we going to use? Is it X or Y? Y. Okay, Y. Very good put. Okay, so here we have here the change X and change Y blocks. Okay, so since we will have or we will make the character jump, then we will use the change Y block. Okay, so take it out from here. And when you click on it, it will move up. Okay, it will change Y by 10. Can you see that, students? Okay, how about if you want it to go down? What will you do here? If you want it to go down again, are you still going to use the change Y block? Yes or no? Negative Y. 
Yes, exactly, Chiwik. Very good. Okay, so still use the change uh, Y block and then change the value to a negative value. Okay, so you can use this one to make the sprite go down. Okay, but you don't want to click this one every time, right? When the char if you want the character the character to go jump. Okay, so in that case, students, we can use the repeat block. Okay, so the repeat 10 times block. Okay, so when you start the program and this code, if you use this code, it will be like this. The character will jump like this one, not too high. Okay, and then you need to add another repeat block here for the negative value so that the sprite or the character will jump, move up and down like this one. Okay, but of course, when you start the program, it should be here. So it should be like this. Do you have this output now? How about you, Im, Pi, Bacon, yes. JK, Kim, mm -hmm. Guy? I hope you are doing the activity. And I hope you will submit this one later. Okay, so students, we have one more block to fill in here. Okay, so right now we are clicking this one, right? So what if we want to use a keyboard key? So every time we want the character to jump, you can go to events and then you have this block called when space key pressed. Do you see that? Actually, here you can change the keyboard key to any key. So we have arrow keys, down, up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, left arrow, and then we also have letters and numbers. Okay, but I think uh, when there is no internet and you play the jumping dinosaur on Google in Google Chrome, uh, what uh, what what key do you use uh, on your keyboard or do you press on your keyboard to make the dinosaur jump? What keyboard key is that? Is it space, space bar, right? Okay, so we will stick to space bar here. Okay, and then we need to connect this one in this block. Okay, and then after that, students, when you press the space bar, then the character will jump just like that. Do you use the same character with me, or did you do you have uh, a different character. Uh, I use Pichian. Uh, okay. The character will be up to you, okay? Okay, so what's important here is the output. Okay, it should be the same with me. So it is like this right now, right? When you press the space bar, is it working? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, now students, we can also add some sounds that every time we uh, click on the space bar or the press the space bar key on the keyboard, there will be a sound. Okay, so here is what you can see, there will be a sound tab. Okay, and then here you can find or you can choose a sound. Okay, there are a lot of sounds here. Okay, but since I am using pony uh, as my character, then I will find a horse sound here. So I like this. Okay, so all you need to do is to click on that and then it will be ad added here. And then go back to code and go to the sound group. And then you can use this one, start sound, and then you choose the sound that you have chosen. Okay, so let's try. <laughs> Do you have the same output <laughs> or you're still doing it? Please tell me when you're done so that we can proceed, okay?
Are you done? Please make it faster so that we can proceed to the next one. Finish. Okay. Okay, now students, we will have some obstacles. Okay, so I would like you to insert another sprite. Any sprite will do to serve as your, that will serve as your obstacle. Okay, so I think I will change the, instead of baseball, I will use another one. Mm -mm. Okay, I will choose egg. Okay, and make sure students that the character or the obstacle here is smaller than your um, main character so that the, the main character will be able to jump over it. Okay, so for me right now it's 100. I will change it to 80 to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, and then place it here on the right side of the interface. Okay, so we will add the code later that will make this character start here. Okay, when we start the program. Finish. Okay, I think not yet. Done. No one's answering yet, so I assume not yet done, right? Okay, I will wait for 30 more seconds. Finish. Okay. How about the others? Finish. Okay, so now students, we will add a code for this obstacle that it will be here every time we start the program. So how are we going to do that? It's the same with what we did with uh, the main character. How are we going to do that? When green flag is clicked, then if we want the egg to be here, or if you want the obstacle or whatever your character oh, okay. is. Okay, so you okay. need to move it here first, okay? Position it first, and then after that, use the go-to block. Very good. Okay, so every time you start the program, it will just be there, okay? If it is here, it will go back. Okay, how about if we want the obstacle to move from here to here? Because we will make it move because the character will jump over it, right? Change X. Change X, are you sure? No. <laughs> okay, so that's the best code or the best block that we can use for that one is to use Y. Okay, meaning the character will move from here up to here. But before you use this block, of course, you need to move the character first up to the last position. Okay, and then that's the time that you are going to use the glide block. Okay, position it first. Okay, so when you start the program, it will be like this. But you think one second is fast, is faster, right? It's fast. Is it? How do you make it slower? Okay. 
Students, how do you make it slower? Hello? Change my chain one second. Okay, change one second to? Two. Okay, to two or to a higher number. If you want to make it very slow, then maybe you can have 10 seconds there. Okay, but I think two or three would be enough. For me, I will start with three. Okay, so because next week, uh, maybe we will develop this one. We will add another level to it. Let's try. Okay, but I will think about it first. Okay, so when you start your program, it will be like this, but it stops. It doesn't continue. What should we do to make it continuous? Continuous, I mean. Repeat. Repeat or? Forever. Forever, yes, very good. So we can uh, insert the forever block here and these two blocks should be inside of the forever block. Okay, so when you run your program, it will be like this. Okay, so it will repeat again and again and again and again until you stop the program. Okay. Is it working? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we now have like this. Okay, so we, we can make the character jump. We can move the obstacle. Oh. Okay. Stop the game. <laughs> yes. Score. Okay. And stop the game. Right. Okay. Chewick. That's right. Okay. So, how can the game be stopped? How will the game okay. stop? What should happen? If. If what? If. Okay, so you can add another green flag click to block. What should happen so that the game will stop? Anyone? If, um... When the character touches what? If touching then. If the character will touch the obstacle, okay? So if the character will touch the obstacle, then that's the time that the game will stop. Actually, students, you can use the if then block or you can also use the wait until block. Okay, so wait until. You can also use if, okay? And then here, touching. Okay, actually students, this code can be, uh, can be like inserted in, bo in either of the, of the characters here. So if you want to put this code here on your main character, then you can. In the obstacle also you can, okay? It's up to you where. Okay, so wait until touching your character okay so you can find the name of your character here okay and then that's the time that you will use the stop all and also students you can use this one also if touching the pony then stop all you can do this one also they are similar okay so it's up to you which one you're going to use Okay, so for example, if you run the program and the character touches the obstacle, then the program will stop. That's what you can see here. Okay, but if the character will not hit, okay, so in this case, it hits. I think students, some of the characters need to have a higher jump. Okay, so in that case, students, instead of repeat 10 seconds, you can change it to 15 or 13 just to make the jump higher. Let's see. Oops, still not working. Okay, maybe 15 is... But it depends on the character. If you want to for your character, then uh, change. 
the repeat uh, number here, the number of times. Finish. Okay, I think not yet. So I will wait for you so that we can add. Yes, Guy, finish. No. Oh. <laughs> okay, I will wait. But not for long, huh? Our time is limited. Please let me know when you're done. Done. Are you done? Yes or no? Hmm, not yet, huh? Yes, yes, yes. How about the others? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, now, students, we will add the score. Okay, so how can we add the score? What should we do? Any idea? How can we add scores? What should we do? Shuik, I think you know how to do this one. Any idea as to how we can uh, have scores here? What should we do? Pai, JJ, Kim, Bacon. I think Shuik has an internet problem. How about you input, guy? Go to variables. Very good. Okay, go to variables and then make a variable. Okay, very good, Im. Students, do not wait for me to call your names. If you know the answer, you can open your microphone, okay? Very good, Im. So we can make another variable called score. Okay, and then just click on OK. Okay, and the question is, how can you add score? Where should you put or what block are you going to use here so that you can add a score? Anyone? Uh, set question. Which block? In yes, yes, we will do that. But how can you add the score? Which block are you going to use here? Is it set, change, show, or hide? Shane. Okay, we can use the change and then score by one. The question is, where are you going to put this block? That's another question. Uh, yes, where? In what case the score will be added by one? When the character Anyone? <laughs> Oh, I don't have students anymore. Any idea? Where should we put this one? Chewik, how about you? Do you have any idea, Im, Kim? 
Mm. Are we going to put it here or here? Any idea? Okay, so I think you don't have an idea. So students, we can uh, add score by one every time the character finished jumping. Okay, so we can connect this block here. Okay, so every time the character is jumping, the score <laughs> by one. Okay, so that's what you can see. Okay, but of course, students, every time we start the program, the score should be zero, right? How can we make the score zero when we start the program? Anyone? How can we make the score zero every time we start the program? When can you fact click? Okay, so the set, set score to zero. Yes, very good. Set score to zero. Okay, so every time you start the program, the score will be. Okay, so you have like. Done. Finish. Yes. Okay, now students. Okay, how about if the program stops and we need to have the game over backdrop? How are we going to do that? Do you have an idea? Me. Okay, so we need to make another backdrop. So everybody go here, okay, click here, and then go to backdrops. And then after that here, you need to use the text, okay? And then after that, just type game over. Okay, you can change the color. You can make it bigger. Okay, so I think I will just uh, have white for this. Oops. Game over and then after that you can make it bigger. Oops. Okay, so I will make it bigger. The other, can you see the plus sign here, students? It is your guide, so you need to, you can, if you want it to be at the middle, then it will be your guide. It's like a magnet. Okay, so game over, and then after that, you need to change also the name to game over so that you can identify that it is the game over block, uh, backdrop, I mean. Okay. Okay, so now students go back to coding. So when the green flag is clicked, what should be the backdrop? Switch backdrop to what? Switch backdrop to game over. Ah, uh, when you start the program, game over right away. When you start the program, Chewick, what should be the background or the backdrop? It should be the first backdrop, okay? Because you're just starting the program. The game is not yet over. Okay, by the way, students, to make it easier for you to, you can change, 
Okay, the ba the backdrop name. Ooh. Oh, sorry. I should didn't I should have duplicate first. Sorry, students. Sorry. Okay, so for this one, students, you should duplicate, by the way. Okay, and for the other one, please erase the game over uh name there. Sorry, sorry, I forgot. Oops. Convert to vector. Oh, I cannot delete that anymore. Okay, so maybe this one. Well, I cannot delete the okay, text. Go back to text. Let's see. Can you delete the name? I can't anymore. Okay, so I will insert another backdrop. I will change this one. I think, students, the problem here is I did not convert it to vector first. Okay, so forest. Okay, convert to vector so that it will be easier. And then after that, students duplicate. Okay, and then add the game over. Word. Okay, like this one. Okay, time check, three minutes. Okay, you can change the color to whatever color you want. Okay, and then students, I'll change the name. For example, this one is game over. So I will click on, I will change it to game over. And then for this one, just one. Okay, so every time you start the program, the backdrop should be your first backdrop. And then if you want it, if you want to change the backdrop to game over, then you need to insert it here. When touching, okay, game over, and then like that, stop all, okay? Okay, so this is the code for your character. Please take a photo if you are not yet done. And this is the code for your um, obstacle. We will improve this game next week. We will try to improve this. Let's see if there's something I can think of how to improve this one. Done? Okay, so students, by the way, the, the file name of this one is Jumping Game. Jumping Game underscore underscore nickname, okay? Jumping game underscore nickname, for example, Chiwi. Okay, so it should be like this. Okay, and then please send the file to our line group. Okay, students, do not forget to change the file name. Okay, so we only have one minute left, so I think we will just end the class. If you have any questions, please contact me in line. I'm happy to help, okay? Please don't be shy to contact me, okay? So I will see you again next week, students. Stay safe and have a nice day. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.